Snake, you're not playing! Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Hey, D-pad. Oh, wake, wake up. What? It's just a dream? Yeah. Am I still on the bench? Shut up. Go. So we have some really serious news. So I really need you to listen up for this because Abby has an announcement that she would like to share. I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna get right to the point. Mr. Rice left and we don't have a Captain Pep rally for this year. 
So Coach Turner, what's something special you'd bring to the pep rally? Well, if I was to run the pep rally, I would add a motivational speech. Because the motivation is in school just, are you kidding me? It's, it's, it's pitiful. It's absolutely horrible. Now, life, life is like a flat tire. If you do not change it, you will not go anywhere. Now, we got to get the people in this school moving. And that's what I would add to the pep rally. So Mr. Fisher, do you have any special talents that you bring to the pep rally? Well, I guess I'm pretty funny. I mean, I could probably bring some comedic spirit to the pep rally. Do you want to hear a joke? Sure. Okay, so why didn't the zombie want to eat the clown? I don't know. Why? Because he tasted funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Dr. Creston. This is she. Hold on. Just gotta do this. Yeah. What's something that you'd bring to the pep rally that nobody else would? I'd have to say I'm a very cultured person. Did I tell you the story? One time I went to Mexico with my boyfriend, Glenn. My parents told me I couldn't, but I did it anyway. I also trained to be a police officer in Italy, but it's a man's world, so I didn't get that position. Which reminds me, we need to break the glass ceiling and hire a female as the captain of the pep rally. Okay, so Coach P, back to what you would add to the pep rally. For instance, uh, back in the meatpacking business, everything was marketing. For instance, this hat, marketing. This shirt, marketing. My shoes, marketing. That American flag is marketing for the United States of America. Marketing for the Galapagos Islands. Go York, go Liberty. Uh, Mrs. Proctor, it's time for your audition. Oh my God, was that today? Okay, I brought a resume. I have one around here somewhere. Oh, I'm really organized. Okay, I can't find it. But I'll just tell you what I'd do as Captain Pep Rally. I think that York High School could really benefit from some meditation, so I'd like to lead the school in some yoga. Namaste. All right, Mr. Haggerty, why do you want to be the new Captain Pep Rally? Well, you know, I'm always on time. You know, we start at uh, 110, approximately 110, no exceptions. You know, if you're not here at 110, you're doing suicides, all right? We'd end about 25 minutes in. You know, I like to keep things short and brief. You know, kids don't need to be out there all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. What experience do you have that would help you be the new Captain Pep Rally? Well, all right, uh, seeing you captains is my life. All right, all right. I'm a, uh, I'm a big coach. I, uh, I love soccer. You know, powder puff football, different. Powder puff soccer is what we're doing. All right, and uh, all right, all right. So Mrs. H, why do you think that you should be the new Captain Pep Rally? Okay, well first of all, I've been working at this school for almost 17 years now. I've been working here longer than most of these students have even been alive. I've won Most Spirited twice, and I know this school better than anybody. So I mean, like, if it was up to me, I think I should definitely deserve to be the next Captain Pep Rally. Mr. Weinstein, why do you think you should be Captain Pep Rally? Well, the first and utmost duty of the pep rally captain is to know how to defend your onlookers, to make sure of prime security of the premises, which includes knowing every pressure point on the human body, like perhaps a throat punch or maybe a shin kick. Oh, yeah, I just had to uh, print out the study guide real quick. So, Mr. Mack, what would you bring to the pep rallies? Well, you know, I was the uh, cross-country coach of the team and the track coach for a really long time. So, you know, I have the stamina to keep up with the kids. Um, and also, you know, I could have a little guitar solo right in the middle of the pep rally. You know, I'm really good at that. I like to make songs for my kids so they can remember history. And also, instead of games, everything's going to be Jeopardy. Everything. You know. So, Mrs. Eckstein, how would you bring your junior class experience to the pep rallies? Well, I'm going to compare the pep rallies to the junior wall. The junior wall fell. This pep rally is not going to fall. It wouldn't have fell if they would have listened to me, just, just saying, but um, it fell. And this, this time it's not, the pep rally is not going to fall, okay? It's not going to fall. It'll be good. 
One less paper to grade. <laughs> Mr. Keys, did you want to audition? You know, I really would. But, I mean, you want me to audition? Yeah. Well, do you have your Falcon Roar? Of course. <laughs> All right, everybody on the line? Ready? Yeah! Uh, I understand you want to try your best pep rally roar. Yes. Go Falcons! <clears throat>